Hey Kitty, can you read me Zoe, please? I'm all set to read the story. Are you ready? Oh, hello friend. Happy Halloween. Ta-da! Don't get scared friends, it's just me, your reading kitty. I decided to dress up like a ghost for this Halloween. How about you? And today, I have a special Halloween story for you. It is called, Little Boo Saves the Halloween by Agnes Green and Helen Potiomkina. Little Boo is a witch with a tall pointy hat. She carries a broom and she has a black cat. Meow. Boo is happy. This holiday is finally here. Halloween is her favorite day of the year. There's plenty to get done before it turns night. Candy treats to collect. Jack o' lanterns to light. So Boo gets her wagon. She puts the cat in. Then sets off to pick out the perfect pumpkin. The autumn air is crisp as the leaves on the ground which crackle all colors from yellow to brown. In windows of houses all down the road hang cobwebs and banners and spiders and toads. And out of those houses spill onto the streets all manners of monsters, gowls, ghost teeth and beasts. Let's find out which spooky friends Little Boo meets. From house number one comes the click clacking sound of a skeleton spoon as he rattles around. When the skeleton hears what Boo is going to do, he joins in beside her and then there were two. From house number two comes a spine tingling. Ooh. This ghost shines so brightly she's almost see through. When the ghost hears what Boo and the skeleton are going to do, he says, Oh, how lovely! May I join the crew? At house number 3, that's a little fanged bat, which turns into a vampire and frightens the cat. When the vampire hears what Boo, the skeleton and the ghost are going to do, he follows at speed. Why, he practically flew. From house number four creeps a gruesome gargoyle. His skin is all green and quite covered in boils. When the gargoyle hears what Boo, the skeleton, the ghost and the vampire are going to do, he chuckles and takes up his place in the queue. At house number five, Dreams of bandages flow from the mummy who's wrapped from her head to her toes. When the mummy hears what Boo, the skeleton, the ghost, the vampire and the gargoyle are going to do, she decides she would quite like to join in with them too. From house number 6 comes a rumbling growl. A werewolf steps forward and lets out a howl when the werewolf hears what Boo, the skeleton, the ghost, the vampire, and the gargoyle and the mummy are going to do. He joins in the gang with a joyful Oh! So Boo and the skeleton, the ghost, the vampire, the gargoyle, the mummy and the werewolf all make their way to the pumpkin patch. 
But when they get there, there is one teeny catch. There is only one pumpkin left. The friends are downhearted. The ghost moans. Boo hoo! Our Halloween is ruined. Now what do we do? Then Boo has an idea and gets rather excited. I will throw a big party and you are all invited. So the friends take the pumpkin back to Boo's place. They scoop out the seeds, carve the spookiest space. When the lantern is lit with a big glowing grin, it's time for the party games to begin. Bobbing for apples, trick or treat. Bags full of liquor ice, olives, and sweets. They party all night, through till sunrise at dawn, when all the little monsters get sleepy with yawns. Now climb into bed, for this Halloween is done. But we'll see you next year. Most spooky fun. The end. Now it is time for Halloween, Halloween fun fun facts. facts. Friends, do you know why we use orange and black decorations for Halloween? The orange color represents end of fall season, and black for dark and cold winter, which is coming ahead. And do you know, friends, the largest quantity of chocolate. Around the world, it's being sold during Halloween. Of course, for trick or treat. Thank you for watching. Happy Halloween, everyone! And see you next time with another video. <laughs> <laughs>